Prior to his election, Mr. Campbell was an award-winning broadcast journalist and spent more than 40 years working as a writer, reporter, producer, anchor, and senior executive in Canada, the United States, and of course around the world. Internationally, he covered stories that shaped the 20th century, including momentous events such as the Vietnam and Yom Kippur Wars, the fall of the Berlin Wall, and the end of the Cold War. In his first term as an MP, Prime Minister Steve Harper appointed him Minister of State of Foreign Affairs with particular responsibility for the Americas. Mr. Kent has a long record of community service. He was a member of the Ontario Cabinet for the Canadian Museum of Human Rights, served on the Board of Honours Reporting for Canada, Participation, and the Accessibility Channel, and as a member of the Canadian Parliamentary Coalition to Combat Anti-Semitism. He has also served as a member with the Toronto Region Immigration Employment Council, and Mr. Kent is a member of the Canadian Broadcasting Hall of Fame. Thank you, and uh, on behalf of the Government of Canada, uh, I'm Mr. Stephen Harper and Jason Kenney, the uh, Minister of Citizenship, Immigration and Multiculturalism. Uh, it's, a real, it's a real pleasure to be here with you all tonight. Je vous remercie de cette aimable présentation au nom du Gouvernement du Canada et du Premier Ministre Stephen Harper. Je suis heureux. Today we celebrate the 300th anniversary of the first Ukrainian constitution written by Pilip Orlik. A diplomat and leader, he created a document that established a democratic standard for the separation of powers in government among the legislative, executive, and judiciary branches. While not everyone may know of his achievements, many know of his name as Orly Airport in Paris was named after Pili Bordic. Ladies and gentlemen, Canada prides itself on its close ties with Ukraine. I had the honor of traveling there uh, to express and build on this friendship earlier this year for the presidential inauguration. Mesdames et Messieurs, le Canada est fier des liens étroits qu'il entretient avec l'Ukraine. Cette année, j'ai eu l'honneur de me rendre dans ce pays afin de témoigner de cette amitié et de la More than one million Canadians of Ukrainian descent have played an important role in building our society. They've also been instrumental in fostering the relationship that exists between Canada and Ukraine. Plus d'un million de Canadiens d'origine ukrainienne ont joué un rôle important dans l'édification de notre société. Ils ont également contribué à consolider les relations entre Canada et l'Ukraine. Through the decades, Canada has stood with the people of Ukraine and other countries of Central and Eastern Europe in their quest to live in freedom. Following a referendum on Ukraine's independence 18 years ago, Poland and Canada were the first two countries to recognize that independence. Since then, Canada has supported Ukraine's democratic transformation and political and economic reform. We were honored earlier this year to send a large contingent of Canadian election observers to help monitor the conduct of the presidential election. Groups such as the Ukrainian Canadian Congress and the Canada Ukraine Foundation have helped to build the relationship between our two countries. They also helped Minister Kenny during his 2008 visit when he attended a ceremony to mark the 75th anniversary of Holodomor, 1932-33 famine in Ukraine. Our government appreciates their work, which continues to serve the needs of the Ukrainian community in Canada, and to preserve and promote an important part of Canada's diverse heritage. Ladies and gentlemen, Canada is a country where we can share our different cultural traditions while supporting core Canadian values of freedom, democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Mesdames et Messieurs, le Canada est un pays où nous pouvons mettre en commun nos différentes traditions culturelles tout en respectant les valeurs fondamentales du Canada, que sont la liberté, la démocratie, le droit de la personne et la primauté du droit. I know the Ukrainian Canadian community shares these values. The late Senator Paul Music was a leader in the Ukrainian Canadian community and a pioneer in multiculturalism in Canada. Today, we commemorate him with the Paul Music Award, which acknowledges individuals who have made exceptional contributions to diversity and to multiculturalism. Ukrainians continue to travel and to immigrate to Canada in significant numbers, further reinforcing the close familial, social, and cultural ties between our two countries. 
Les Ukrainiens sont encore très nombreux à voyager et à immigrer au Canada. Et ils continuent ainsi de renforcer les liens étroits familiaux, sociaux et culturels qui existent entre nos deux pays. Our country is richer for this connection and I am confident it will continue in the future. Les liens tissés avec l'Ukraine enrichissent le Canada et je suis certain que ces échanges fructueux se poursuivront à l'avenir. Thank you very much.